Hello, and welcome back to Hamilcraft. I'm Eric, and in today's episode we're going to be working on the rest of the John Spinka Courthouse block. There is seven buildings. I'm laying out the rough foundations of where they are. There used to be eight, but one of them got torn down recently. I don't know what they're going to build there in the meantime, but for now I'm just going to leave it empty. We're going to start with red. Go to orange, yellow, cyan, blue, purple, and magenta. Red is very suiting for the first building because it is the Red Church building. I believe it's a cafe. It's uh, got a white facade. The rest of the building is not white, but in this build, we're just going to make everything white just so you can tell what building is what. Because otherwise, everything's going to be red brick in the back and cinder blocks on the side. So, yeah, we're just going to make everything the main color that the front of the building is. There is a bit of a courtyard in the center there. And it's really hard to see on Google Maps, but I think that's roughly kind of how it's set up. Let's take a closer look at the front of the building. There is an entrance to the right, which I believe goes up to the second, third, and fourth floors. We're on to the next building. This is the Brito Boys building. The door on the left of the Red Church building enters onto the main floor. The Brito Boys building is six stories high. I have no idea how you get to the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth floors, but uh, maybe it's through the back. At the top, there is a bit of a raised platform, as well as it's either an elevator shaft or an entrance out onto the roof. We used end stone brick to make this one. We can't simulate the colors exactly in Minecraft, so this is a pr close approximation. On to the third building. This is... I don't know the name of the building. It has a big awning that says focus on it, so I guess we'll call it the focus building. It is red brick and it's got a weird roof on the top, which I am attempting to make right now. It has a bit of a shader, which is kind of like a dormer, only bigger. And yeah, that's the best I could do. There's a sunroof as well. The building actually went up for sale, and I saw it online recently. Uh, I wish I had taken pictures of the inside so I could figure it out more, but uh, it's no longer up for sale. I believe it's been sold. This is Chester's. You'll see the <laughs> close approximation of Chester's written in white right there. It is, uh, it's also brick, but it's a slightly different color, so I used granite at least on the main floor and then higher up there is more of a, a yellow brick there's green highlights and I continue that out throughout the rest of the build not much going on with this one it's pretty simple the windows seem to be all closed off I think it's closed so I put boarding up on the front door as well the building next door is also closed off it used to be Chester's, and then Chester's was moved to the left, and then this became Gage, which never actually opened. I believe it was a dispensary, or it was planning on being a dispensary. So I have this all boarded up in the front there. Uh, this was before the province had decided on the exact rules for dispensaries, and uh, I guess they did not apply properly so it is now abandoned uh, a third abandoned building I don't know if the focus building is abandoned so maybe it's only a second on to the embassy club building this building is really cool looking it was featured in the umbrella Academy it is the main entrance in the film or in the uh, TV series Actually, the rooftop was CGI'd in, 
and they changed everything around. The back again is, you know, this isn't exactly how it looks, but it's close enough. Uh, the sides are probably cinder blocks, and the very back is red brick. But again, to make sure that you can tell which building is which, I made them all similar. The fenced off area is, or used to be, a TD bank. On to the final building, which is the Grant Thornton building. I believe it is a law office. Uh, this one was really hard to make. It was kind of a stucco or stucco. Is it stucco? Stucco. Stucco. Uh, stucco build. Not quite that color, but I used andesite. It's uh, two stories high, but it has like this window area on the roof. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, some windows on the side and the back. And then we're going to do a fly around just so you can see the whole block. Uh, I haven't been blacking out any of the areas because I'm probably am going to put in walls later on. You can kind of see that I've put walls in the courthouse. So we're going to take another look at the back of the Embassy Club. Again, it's a, a close approximation. I'm pretty sure it's red brick and brown wood, dark brown wood, almost black. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep the materials similar so you can tell what they are. And these are the buildings. That's from King Street. I'll take a slightly higher look. The roofs are nothing to be proud of. I might put detail in later. And you can kind of see just exactly what this block looks like. The courthouse was built in 1998. And I don't know what used to be there. It was probably a lot of similar buildings as the ones on on King Street, but they probably bought them out, tore them down, and built this wonderful building. I love this church. Or, it's not a church, it's a courthouse. Um, it's so grand. I'm going to take a little bit of a sidewalk view. So I do have to figure out what I am going to build next. It's going to be in an adjacent block, so either north, south, east, or west of this block. North of it is Gore Park. South of it is the Public Offenses Offices building, which used to be the courthouse up until 1998. Uh, and to the sides are various other... All right, uh, sorry about that. I kind of got cut off at the end there but uh, yeah I figured I'd jump in and show a few more details so as I was saying I have to figure out what I want to do next the north is this way and it is Gore Park which actually is a kind of a triangular shaped park if you're not familiar with it uh, that hence the name Gore uh, Gore meaning spear um, kind of like in Beowulf um, is spear Danes and spear is triangular so yeah to the north Gore Park to the south the public offenses offices building which is a horrible acronym um, we have, what is over here? Uh, there is various buildings. I know there was a bar here. Uh, it keeps going out of business. Oh, there's the, uh, okay, so to the east, there is the Connock building, which used to be a hotel, and now it's condos. And to the west, 
if we build to the west, we have various other iconic, I guess you could say, downtown buildings. Core Park would be the easiest thing to do. It's quite small. I, I would end up making both blocks of it just because it's so skinny. So that, I, I'm leaning towards that, but maybe I'll put a poll in the video and you can vote if you want to build to the north, to the south, to the east over there or west over here. But let's take a quick look inside. Now inside, I'm going to put night vision on. This is not what the inside looks like in real life. I have no idea what the inside looks like. So I just kind of said, this is a grand courthouse or a courtroom there. And these are offices. And these are stairs going down out there. And these are more offices. And those are stairs down there to get out. Uh, I did hear from my father that from this entrance, there's stairs. He didn't say if it was directly in front or to the side, but then he said there is a cafe. So I figured I'm going to put the cafe here because there's clearly a loading dock area here. I figured, okay, if you get a shipment, you can just bring it through here to the cafe. And I figured yes, this is kind of a nice spot for a cafe. It may actually be over here, but th this is like kind of small. I figured this is where the, the hallway might be. This floor is very tall. I put in a fair amount of detail. Uh, I made stairs here. I figured the stairs are here because there's windows further up, kind of indicating that there's stairs. And then also underneath here, is this. So I figured that's probably a platform of some sort for the stairs. Uh, more stairs going up that way. I don't know if this is a big open area. I put in another massive courtroom. It could be two courtrooms that are smaller. I uh, put a smaller courtroom here. Offices of some sort. <laughs> More smaller offices for lawyers, I guess. Little seating area, waiting area. I won't show off every floor because as I get further and further up, I put in less and less detail. These are windows that look out whoops, to this little alleyway. I made all the back windows just very plain and boring. As you can see, the ceiling gets lower and lower each time. Another grand courtroom. <laughs> I think you get the idea. Grand courtroom. I'm pretty sure there's not a grand courtroom on every single floor. Also, my, my stairs get really wonky <laughs> because the height difference between floors is not consistent. It kind of changes how everything is. That's Oh yeah, this is an elevator, I'm saying. And there's probably stairs somewhere on the other side of the building. This is practically the top floor actually no yeah it is the top floor but yeah there's probably stairs somewhere I think there's a massive AC unit here yeah well. I'll take a quick look in here little courtyard of sorts I 
I don't think you can actually get in to this dormer area. Oh, I didn't put a window there. Let's uh, let's do that. I think this roof goes all the way down. But yeah, did not feel like doing that. This is supposed to be an arch. It's kind of hard to do an arch. This is the uh, the boarded up area. This is <laughs> my approximation of Chester's. That's that's a C. That's an H. That's an E. That's an S. No, that's a T. That's an E and an R. <laughs> so it's ch cheddar. I guess that's cheddar. Didn't have enough space. This is definitely not what the inside of the Embassy Club looked like. I did see some pictures online. It's uh, much more decorative. Although I think there was a fire recently. I don't know if it was from this building or this building or somewhere else. But uh, there was some fire damage. Oh, yeah, these are the, uh, the windows I'm referring to when I say that there are stairs. So it's kind of like platforms. If you look here, there's their stairs. There's the stairs there. But yeah, that's it for this block. Vote or write a comment of where you want me to build next, whether it's north in Gore Park, south in the Public Offenses Office's building, east to Connaught, building or west to we'll call that block the Scotiabank block because I think the Scotiabank building is the oldest building left standing there <laughs> actually I think is there Scarfoni Hawkins yeah the Scarfoni Hawkins building is probably the much more dominant one so yeah let me know in the comments uh, otherwise I will probably just do Gore Park next I'll see you later bye